These Indonesians are going to extreme lengths to try and cure what ails them. They believe the electricity that passes through their bodies when they lay down on railroad tracks will restore their health. Their muscles twitch as the current flows. Diabetes sufferer Suri Mulyanti is among them. The 50-year-old says the electricity from the rails has helped her high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and sleeplessness. I came here to do therapy. I have been sick for 13 years, and I have been seeing doctors anywhere I can, but I haven't been healed. This is the place I have felt a lot of changes over the past year. But in the medical profession, people like Dr. Marius Wijajarta are skeptical. The impact of the electrical flow can be a very big danger, especially when we don't know how much voltage has passed. If we talk about the medical aspect, scientific research should be conducted looking into whether electrical therapy can be used to cure disease. The state-run train company's been trying to discourage the practice, and lately there aren't quite as many people out on the rails as there used to be, even if a dedicated few refuse to give it up. A sign warns against sitting or lying on the rail, saying it disturbs public order. Mateta Rizalulhak speaks for the Transportation Department. We have warned them. We have repeatedly urged them not to do it because it's very dangerous. Those who return to the rails despite the crackdown risk a prison sentence and a hefty fine and they may be encouraging copycat behavior in the next generation. But they say they have no plans to stop what they call electric therapy. They consider it the best and most affordable treatment available to them. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.